I've never seen so many mutants in one place. They must have had some kind of mutant orgy going on in the lower levels. Uh, Jesus, that actually place is no. huge. They got an entire army in that nightmare. We should head back and report to Silverman before the situation gets much worse. Um, we're just going to walk back to base of what? There are mutants all over us. No more secrets. You owe me, Jameson. What was all that about back there? You knew what I was going to meet. That wasn't some, like, secret clandestine meeting where we discuss a way to defeat the Enclave. That was you guys handing me over to the super mutants for what? Yeah, I guess so. I'm sorry. I'm sworn to secrecy by Silverman. Talk to him if you want answers. I'll meet you back at base camp. Oh. Yeah. That, that pretty much sums up today, doesn't it? Well, on the bright side, you've got your legs back. Were they waiting for us? Okay, they are moving a lot faster than they came here. Sensible people. Maybe we should keep up with them. I mean, they were a little slow on the way. And it does sort of look like they're going to be picking the bizarrest route ever. Didn't we leave a Protectron out his? He's over there. Oh, we can pick him up now. We can actually pick him up. Why not? More the merrier. Hello. Protect and serve. Follow. You might as well. I don't think you're going to do much all by yourself out here. Okay, let's let's see if we can keep up with them. Oh, my God. They are actually... They are legging it. I'm really, really not going to keep up with them, am I? I don't suppose one of you would carry me on your back? That's what I need to do. I just need to build a robot with a giant bloody seat on the back. Oh my, they really... Or are they waiting for me? I, I can't quite tell. It's like... They're letting me... They're letting me just stay in sight. And then they're running off in... Oh, maybe they're scavenging. I already checked there, lads. On the bright side, I get to see which way... They... Want to travel. Maybe they know a fast route. Cyber Brahmin. That's what we need. A cybernetically enhanced Brahmin that will carry all of our stuff. Unlike the rest of you. Not Alpha and Bark. You guys are great. You carry stuff. But the rest of you, whilst you're very useful and you serve your master well in many ways... You're not really carrying stuff, are you? So, Cyber Brahmin. Oh, oh, maybe we could, like, put, I don't know, lasers on their heads. My, I don't know, like a minigun on their back. I could, we could put a seat. I could ride one. It could have miniguns and a seat. Probably wouldn't be much room to carry stuff. I could have one that I sit on that has... A plasma caster. Yeah, no, I prefer the idea of a plasma caster. And a seat. And a cup holder. Because I'll get thirsty. And then the rest can carry stuff. I think we're entering the area where we'll find Uaxa. You know, with Chief Uga. I think. This is near. But I'm... Pretty sure it's over there somewhere. What is... Oh, I remember this. I do remember this. There were some people here. And they had oddly clean red cushions. I remember that. It was a little strange. Oh, God. Guys, are you going to be running through the snake area? I mean, I'm not saying I've got a phobia against snakes or anything, because phobias are like irrational fears. 
I have an actual rational fear of... Oh, God. So that's it for the next five minutes. You guys are just going to be shooting the ground. Wasting ammo. Weapons hot. Yeah, weapons hot. Because you've got it, like, on full auto. You don't take your finger off the damn trigger and you're not hitting anything. Okay, raiders. Right. Some more? Okay, no. Oh, there might be. All right. I'll just check to see what they were carrying in case it's useful. Useful information tells us about their movements or something. Okay, what? Now, I think we're going to be approaching that broken crawler thing. Oh, and you know what? The radioactive crater. Now, I do actually have decent anti-radiation gear now. What I don't have is any way to carry the, anything that's in there back with me. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, there it is. Uh, so as tempted as I am to actually go there, as soon as we're passing by, I just don't think it's worth it unless... Mind you, there could just be something... There could, there could be stuff there that's not necessarily heavy, but that is wonderfully useful. Should we just, should we, should we, whoa, 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 whoa. Should we just, should we stick with the safety of them? Or should we do our own thing? I'm, I'm, I'm torn on this. I'm torn. My programming requires that I keep trying to kill you. Well, at least... Oh, yeah. Right. Um, medicine! Yes! Medicine! Although there's not a lot I can do with it this time. Maybe maybe I could... Maybe I should boost speech just a tad as well. Yeah, I, I, I do need to get medicine to 80 and science to 90, but I'm not getting a perk, so I don't need it right now. Just as long as I'm within shot of getting it when I finally get the perk, which I think I am, because I get 14 points to spend. So in which case, I think I just want to... Yeah, just push the speech up a little because um there is um there are some conversations i'm about to have with some people who i have reason to actually punch in the face but soon as they have an army i may want to try and verbally berate them instead of declaring war on them Whoa, 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 like, okay, um, are we going to be able to do that? I, I just, I, I, I mean, we picked up, what we did pick up, I've got a load of grenades, I can probably lighten the load a little bit, can you take some of my grenades? But, because I, I do have a lot of anti-rad stuff now. There was a lot of anti-rad meds in that lab, which, you know. Why have I only got one frag grenade, yet it seems to think I've got, like, 20 of them. No idea. But you, Warning. Oh. Maximum carrying capacity exceeded. Take the mines, then, because I don't honestly think I'm going to need them. Um... How, how, can you take a few of them? I could just drop them on the ground here. Warning. Okay. Maximum carrying capacity exceeded. Never mind. Right, let's... 
see. I do now have advanced radiation suit, which gives me a radiation resistance of... How is that only 48%? I've got... Oh, because it takes the mask off? Oh, of course it takes the mask off. Oh, I've just realised that makes it utterly, completely useless. 40% rad resistance. Uh, well, not totally. I mean, that's 30. It's barely better than this. It's barely better than this, and I don't get to wear combat armour. That's sort of sucking. I, I'm dropping that. Um, what I do have is some Rad X, which, to be honest with you, yeah, all right, Rad X and the gas mask is more than enough to hit the max. Let's put back my, where was it? The headset. All right, that's about as good as we can get. Let's see how bad it is. I, I, I think it's going to be too, too much. I really do. Oh, did I? What? Did, oh. Please clear the area until order has been. Apparently, I was slightly wounded. Okay, I'm taking radiation. I'm taking radiation. I'm moving in. I'm only taking a little radiation. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. There is absolutely... Oh, I'm now I'm taking a lot more radiation. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, I'm not getting up there either. I'm not seeing anything at all. There is a building over that side. Maybe there's something over there. I'm thinking running to the edge of the crater to look down in the middle of it is a stupid idea. Obviously, I'm going to do exactly that. Ah, uh, after I take some rad away. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm seeing something. I am see my radiation level has increased. I get it. I see it. Oh my God, it's... I am taking huge amounts of radiation even here. All right, okay, let's just... Guys, guys, this is definitely the wrong way to approach it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really bad. Really not good. Let's just... Okay. Hey, if I'd have taken a dip in the FEV thing, I wouldn't be bothered by this, would I? No. Why are you not... Okay, okay. I'm just going to get a little further away. Come on. Surely I'm far enough away now? Oh, okay. Um, let's see how stupid that was. Pretty stupid. Pretty damn stupid. Yes. Um, let's... Today's physician... Oh, I don't have that many of those. I do have 12. Right away, that's not a lot, though. I want to save that for... See, that, that gives me slightly more rads per second. Uh, uh, sorry. Rad redu uh, radiation... What do you call it? Rad reduction? It's not rad resistance. I guess it is rad reduction. Oh, I'm going to need three more of those, and then I'm going to need to run in like a maniac and peek over the edge. <sighs> this is so stupid. One, two, three... All right, it, okay, guys. Run, 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 and no, it's just a bloody crater. It's just a bloody crater with green glowy stuff. Nothing in there. I'm going to assume whatever's in that building is not going to be helpful because. Should I assume that? Should I assume that? Oh, this is so stupid. I don't think there's any way to get even close to there, and the radiation does... Why is the radiation stronger near that building than it is near the crater? Does that make... Oh, is it the storm? Oh, I think it's the storm. I think it's the storm. 
Is it? My radiation level has increased. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I think it's the storm. I'm not getting that, am I? I'm not getting that at all. And I'll tell you what, I do what I'm going, but I could... I could wait till we get back and visit the doctor and then save some of that rat away for emergencies. I think I'm going to do that. <sighs> ah, well. At least I got to peek in the radioactive crater and absolutely confirm there was nothing of interest. Okay. A buried church. Is that? No, they're not. They're not NCR. That's kind of the direction we want to go. That leads back to the road. They, these. Oh, they see. Okay. I hope this unpleasantness will be over soon. So these guys are, um. Whoa! Whoa! Definitely not friendly. Think they're dead. Whoa, 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 I'm, I'm, what, what? I'm taking, am I on fire? Am I on fire too? I'm on fire! Damn it! Fine. Is everyone else okay? I guess that answered that question. Are they friendly? Flamer! Don't actually need one. I've got an incinerator, which is a really big flamer. Really, really big. Maybe I should start. I don't know. I'm I'm just. I'm really happy with it. Mind you, that I don't have a lot of. I don't actually have a lot of ammo for that. Yeah, that really is ridiculously big. That is like just. Honestly, I mean, uh, it's, it's about twice the size of the plasma caster, even though it's technically lighter. Oh, now you won't take that. Now you won't. You, you, I've just taken that from you. How are you not? Oh, are you damaged? Are you? Are you damaged? Can you now carry it? Because I just took this off you. You don't want to carry that now? Okay, that's getting weird. Yeah, no, I'm... I'm... This is, this is, like, supposed to be heavier, but look, the weight seems to be far more focused around the bit I'm holding. So it's almost certainly better for the lower back. Yeah... I don't have so much ammo for that. We got a lot of ammo for the incinerator. Back on the road. Now, before we go and see Silverman, I think we should pick up the guys. I really do. Whatever is said there, it could go bad pretty quickly and we may need to skedaddle and I want to know where they all are at any time. Plus, they probably have a right to know that the people that have been helping us are, well, basically betraying us? Or is it just me? I mean, is it just me? Or is it any of the other kids that were taken in? Also need to get some ammo, although not many of the traders seem to sell microfusion cells. And now I'm wishing I had um, not used that uh, recharger rifle to supply power to this city. But I did instead used it to give myself an unlimited supply of those cells. Have they cleaned the bodies up? They've actually cleaned the bodies up. Well done. I'm very impressed. Keep up the good work. Let's go and get some uh, medical attention. So, yeah, that is basically what is happening. So, yeah, what do you think? There isn't much we can do. There were hundreds of green demons in the prison of horrors. We should run and they will chase us. 
I'm sure General Silverman will reward us for whatever materials we manage to bring back from this failed expedition. If we're in luck, part of that reward will be revenge for those that we have lost along the way. Right. Right behind you. It's weird the way he talks as though he was uh, there with us. Hey, um, I just want to check. You're following yeah, too. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I think you are. All right, okay. Ba -ba -da -do 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 -do. Jamie? You're making me have second thoughts about bringing you along. All right, I'm going to leave a couple of the robots here, mostly because I can't take them, but... We've got the full crew. Let's turn up in some force. Although, you know, now that I've said that, there's a side of me thinking what I should do is leave Ben, Jamie, and maybe one of the robots just on the edge of town. So that if uh, Silverman does pull a fast one, we've got someone to organize a rescue, although I suspect... If I'm not there to organize it, it won't get done. Not exactly the most, um, well, organized people, really. I mean, they, 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 they're they great followers, but uh, yeah, not exactly much into original thinking. And I just feel like the more we turn up with the more likely it is Silverman is going to be thinking, yes, perhaps the betraying these people thing was not the best idea. Why are there no guards outside the door? You would have thought you'd actually have a couple of guards just stationed outside. I've never really rave much. I've never had a chance to talk to these people. I mean, it seems like a bad moment, but... <sighs> okay. What in the hell happened out there? I've got reports from all over the valley calling in emergencies every five minutes. People are talking about demons and mutants swarming over half our territory. Did you have something to do with this? Uh, sir, it was super mutants, a lot of them. They were waiting for us, but you sh Are you really trying to pretend you don't know what was going on? Super mutants? What the hell are you talking about? There's no way they could have an army of that size. They're sterile. Apparently not anymore, sir. Trust me, you don't want to think about it any more than that. Holy Hannah, what the flying fuck do you mean, not anymore? The NCR has had super mutant soldiers in our units for over a hundred years. The whole thing's an affront to everything we know about them. Well, your information must be incomplete. They're out there in force. They're organized. I would, by the way, can we talk about the fact that I was the one that sent out to meet them? Are you telling me that the Master has returned? The myth of the Vault Dweller from Vault 13 is just that. Fiction. A fairy tale. Uh, I was about to scream, no it wasn't. But now I'm going to scream, who's the Master? Well, as far as we can figure, the Master was a computer built into an old vault out there in Angel's Boneyard. Something happened and it blew up. Pretty much all the information is lost after that. Some people say it's how President Tandy began the NCR. The legend says that there's a vault dweller that came up from the far south and fought a great evil, twisting men into beasts. Of course, <laughs> that's just myth. I hate to get all politically correct, but we in the NCR don't call them beasts. It's derogatory. We call them super mutants. It's also a bad idea, really, isn't it? I mean, you don't want to go, hello, beast, to somebody who's, you know, six times heavier than you, twice as tall as you, and does have a personality type tending towards the uh, ripping off of heads. What are we going to do? The politically correct ones are about to eat our hearts. Um, 
I want to get back to the bit where I was the one that had to go out. Because when I spoke to the captain, he was definitely going, look, look, not my call. I was just told that you had to go out there and check it out. And then we meet these super mutants. It was just too convenient. But yeah, by the way, we are going to all get completely eaten by a horde of very, very ugly super mutants. And some, I d don't even know what you would call them. Well, as you've observed, we're in a bit of a bind. I can't officially organize an NCR military outfit to launch an assault on a group by race. Well, we'll have to wait until they strike us, per congressional doctrine. Even then, I can't authorize an official military response against their kind. But then again, you're still not NCR. You're my magic eight ball, and I may have a solution for you. One that you may or may not like. Oh, you got your bases covered there, then. You're going to send me back, aren't you? Why do I get the feeling there's a choice to be made that may negatively affect my karma? Okay. That's funny, but you may be right. We're way over our heads, Agent, and it's time to make a tough call. I can't ask you to do it without being perfectly clear. The morality isn't up for debate. The actors and play are bad people. These people killed my wife. They held me for a slave as a child. And until this afternoon, they were the chief threat to the NCR's way of life. I'm talking about the survivalist raiders. The last of their sort, not firmly under our boot heel. You want to make an alliance with the raiders? Who, if memory serves, don't have much of a reason to like um, me. Well, people from the vault. What are we going to do about the Raider Alliance? Okay. We need to eliminate their central leadership. Reports so oh, far no. say the mutants you released are hitting them first. If we can manage to knock Els Dragon off his high horse, that will drive their leadership into chaos. The super mutants will do our work for us. If you can get into Athens, you can kill Els Dragon and get out while the mutants are attacking their main gate. So you just want me to kill the guy? Is that legal? I don't care. Normally it would be, but remember, we're talking about a separatist faction in an illegal state outside the NCR. He's not a citizen. And the last time I checked, neither are you. I can't in good conscience kill a man without a fair fight. <laughs> I can absolutely kill him in a very, very unfair fight. And by that I mean I'm going to tell Alpha here to rip his arms and legs off. Uh, uh, that's a little bit. This is the best assignment you've ever given me. Let's kill this guy. Uh, oh, okay. All right, now don't get too excited. We're talking about the death of a man wanted for court justice. Yeah. If you knowingly kill a man under warrant for arrest, the NCR can imprison you for life as a vigilante. They take jurisdictional law very seriously back in the hub. We've been able to get away with killing unknown raiders so far because they're all wanted with a bounty on their heads. Els Dragon isn't. He's a foreign head of state. Okay, Athens isn't a state, it's a patch of dirt with a big hole in the ground. And she said, I'm not NCR, I'm just a wandering person. But, it's, I've not actually been to Athens, but I have read about it. It's a patch of dirt with a big hole in the ground. It is, according to Congress. They call this kind of thing a Confederate state. It's, it's all legal bullshit. Partly Senator DeVille's fault. If it were up to men like me, We'd ride into every raider compound in the nation and serve them up a plate of hot lead. That's country justice. But as a general, it's not in my purview to decide matters of constitutional law. All this political pandering and namby-pamby crap is part of serving elected officials of the republic. But it's not your oath to abide by. You're outside the law, as far as my command is concerned. So basically, you're not ordering me to go off and killing kill him but you are pointing out that he is there and it is possible to kill him and if he did die the survivalists leadership would fall into disarray and then the super mutants would pretty much wipe them out for you sort of thing sure how the hell do i get in good just make sure to leave yourself a straight path back out of that mine you have several ways to get in Hell's Dragon has a daughter out in Black Horse Ranch. If you sneak in there, 
you can kidnap her to draw him out. Unethical, but it'd work. You could touch base with a raider defector and have them sneak you in. Or you can try to get in the hard way, right through the front door. I'll leave it up to your unique problem-solving abilities. Good luck, and Godspeed. I want to go over my options on dealing with Els Dragon. You've got multiple options. Let's hear them. Right, okay, Scoutmaster, I want to know if you have any intelligence on a back door into the mine. Yeah, the sneaking in way sounds interesting, although I've just got this weird feeling that it's going to be a tad tough to sneak in with a bunch of robots. But do you have any intelligence on this back door? There's not much. Old Doc Rossman knew a dozen ways into that place. It was practically his home away from home. Oh. If you know of any of Rossman's old notes or secret stashes, you could potentially uncover one of his secret access points. Oh, I could talk to... I could talk to the hologram. Well, then I may have a default option. DeVille once informed me that Els Dragon has a daughter in Black Horse Ranch. You could try to kidnap her and use it yeah, as a bargaining no. chip to lure him out of his mind. Then you could kill him. No, no. It's a long shot, but I have word of a tracking device in her body that Els Dragon uses to keep her position pinned down. As long as you stay right by her side, he wouldn't dare try to kill you. You could confront him, and that'd be it. Game over. Uh, I, I'm not, no, uh, kidnapping uh, kids? Well, I'm guessing she's not a kid, but still. I mean, is she an evil, horrible person who's murdered people while cackling wildly? Or is she just somebody out trying to live a life? Anything else? Well, then I may have a default option. DeVille once what? informed me that Els Dragon has a daughter in Black Horse Ranch. You could try okay. to kidnap yeah, yeah, yeah. her and You've use it as a bargaining chip to lure her Why am I getting mind. the feeling this then is the preferred it. option for it's you? It's a long shot, but I have word of a track. Okay. Good. I'll see you back here when this is all over. Thank you very much, Professor Kidnappy. All right, guys, let's go away and discuss our options. <clears throat> Again, I think I'm I may want to leave Jen and Ben Oh sorry, Jamie Jen and Ben. Uh Jamie and Ben. I was wondering where the hell you guys got. Uh Yes. It sounds like Silverman is having a hard time processing this super mutant threat. Maybe he's on edge having to handle both the resurgent raider tribes and now the green demons too. The raiders were bad enough with the enclave tech they acquired, but this new threat is a reminder of where the NCR came from. It is said that long ago a vault dweller from the south arose and fought many battles, the last of which destroyed the master. The master was a great evil that twisted men into beasts and set them against their kin, the green demons. If those in the prison of 10,000 horrors are the same, we may be facing a threat greater than even that of the Vault Dweller. Right. Uh, what do you actually know about the Super Mutants? They are demons. I have fought them many times. What do you want to know? Uh, where did you first encounter yours? It was long ago when I first left Vegas and traveled here with my parents. We got lost in a sandstorm, and in the shelter of a cavern they came for us. They killed the exiles of my vault, devoured their corpses. Those they could use for their deviousness, they stole away into the storm, their screams silenced by the sand. That is when I learned to stand and fight, when I first became Kurtz of the California tribe. The way sir. This story sounds familiar. It does a little. It is. I drew them in the vault as my true character slept. The nightmares of the beast haunted me. They chased me even in my dreams. They spurred me to become a warrior. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I like you, Ben. You're nice. But could you just... Add, it's the whole mysterious stranger sort of thing. Can we... Can we... We've known each other for ages. Can we just go back to talking about comics and stuff? You know... I want to come in and say, Hey, have you seen the latest edition? It's really cool. And not here. Yes, I had noticed its impressive cover. 
It's just, it's, 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 it's weird is what I'm saying, okay? Hang on a second, you were from a vault. Okay, so wait a minute, you were escaping from a vault, you got attacked, then you became a California tribes person, and then you came back and lived in another vault. You really have kind of gotten around a bit, haven't you? I was born there, but I do not remember it. It was filled with cement and my kin were forced to leave into the ruins right. of Vegas. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is some confusion as to why this happened. Some blamed a man, others a wizard. All I recall, we left. Right, yeah, this rings a bell for some reason. So how did you escape the cave and the mutants? Did you sort of spring into action with two swords and, and you know, start making funny wah, yeah, woo, sounds and everyone died? I was too young to fight them and my tribe was small. I escaped with my two older friends into the wastes. We fled for weeks. We found ghouls, rad scorpions, and hordes of raiders until finally my friends succumbed. The green demons followed. They captured me, but eventually I managed to escape their bonds yet again. I placed mines along a bridge between two canyons and they followed. The mines killed two, the rest fell to their death. Okay. Uh, do you know how we can kill them? Um, well, we can just have robots ripping them apart, can't we? But if you've got any other suggestions, I'm, I'm open to them. They are as susceptible to gunfire as any man. They just require more of it to die. If you lure them into traps, they're easier to destroy. The masters among them are intelligent, though, and will not be so easy. These demons seem less capable than those I thought. They're deformed, tainted, as if their powers were spread thin. I believe their master is trying to rush them into creation, or he is weak and incompetent. We can use that. Oh... Okay. Um, how can we get into Athens Tech and a certain... Are you okay with that? Yeah. How, how do you think we should do that? We walk into his office and we shoot him. Really? You don't think somebody might, like, notice? Try and stop us? Murder us? No? Of course not. It never is. Only now, it's critical. Our only objective is to end his life. Taking a wild stroll through Athens is foolish. We'll face hundreds of them guarding their homes and families. But if we can find a way in, possibly under disguise, that would work. Maybe we can find someone sympathetic to the NCR. Disguise. If we can pass as slavers or tribal recruits, we could enter the base and wander off. Find El's dragon and kill him. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Okay. The the right behind. Thing is, the sneaking in disca I mean I'm trying to picture the disguise that would work for Alpha. Because I don't think sticking a dress on him and putting some lipstick on him is going to work. I know it does in the movies. I know there's some sort of weird tradition that you can take ugly men, put them in a dress, and then all of a sudden every single guard finds them irresistibly attractive. But in this particular case, it's going to have to be some guards with, um... Well, you know, somewhat specific um proclivities 